Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is for any type of connection you may have with another person. Um, it is a love reading, so you have to have some sort of connection. You can be in separation, committed, um, married, living together. I mean, whatever, and divorced or so whatever your situation is, an ex, um, this reading covers everything for any type of situation. We'll see what comes out. Hopefully it'll resonate for you. If it doesn't, then I say please hold out for the next uh, reading and maybe that'll resonate for you. If not, you could check the description box below for past playlists and maybe something there will resonate for you. Or you can check your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign readings and maybe something there will resonate for you. So, and please check the description box below also for any other information you're looking for, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. And just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who've reached out for personal readings and those who bless me with an energy exchange as in tip donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you for helping the channel's growth, being a part of that, helping to get the messages out to the people that need to hear them is truly, truly appreciated, and I thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. If you're new, um, first thing I'm gonna do here is get a Zodiac card. Now we can get a sign, we can get an element, we can get a planet, whatever comes out here, and this is sort of like a little extra bonus, and if you're not dealing with whatever comes out in this deck, that is totally fine, um, but if it does, that's great. So. Let's see what we get for Scorpio for November. Wow, okay. One flew out. We got Sagittarius. So some people here could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or maybe they have it, um, they could have it as their moon or their Venus or their rising, if you know their chart at all. All right, so let's see. So now I want to get an overall like love connection energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time, male, female, doesn't matter. It's all just energy. If I do see say male or female at the time, um, it's probably that is what spirit guides me to say at the time. Uh, but it's all energy, um, masculine, feminine. Uh, some males have feminine, some females have masculine. So it doesn't matter, it's just energy. So let's get an overall... Wow, okay, it's too many. Love connection for whoever you're thinking about at this time, whoever you're watching this video for, for the two of you. And we have love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. And we have eight here. Eight is about travel, movement, communication, and that sort of energy. So, and you see this ship here. So something may be moving forward. Um, and you see the word divine here. So divine may be moving something forward in this connection, but it's also telling you to love who you are, appreciate yourself, know your value and your worth also. As things, if they are moving forward or they do move forward, also to appreciate you and who you are and value yourself as a person also. If you uh, don't agree with something, as this relationship or connection to moving forward, then you need to speak your mind. That's what I'm getting also. So we get one for you. Now I'm going to put one side here, one side here, and I'm going to say the side is you, the side is them. If you feel at any time the roles are reversed, then please, all during this reading, you know how tarot works. You flip-flop, swap the energies however you see fit, anywhere, any, any time throughout the reading. So... Okay, so let's get one for your person. How are they feeling about you in this connection? This is for you and how you are feeling about them in this connection. And then I will get one for them, how they're feeling about you. We take this one in the connection. Okay, so you have spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. We have 27 there, which is nine. All right, so we have here for them, choose love. You always have a choice as to what you should do 
two and three. Three is a very social number. It's also about coming together, reuniting. So I feel like here, I think you feel you have a spiritual connection with this person. And this is also a very spiritual card for me. And I had said I felt like divine was kind of pushing this forward because the word divine is there. And you see like the ship, the movement of moving forward. And eight is, you know, a very, um, uh, it's a card of moving forward, of movement, action, travel, and that sort of energy. And nine here, you know, can be about, um, you know, feeling independent and stable and also wishes, dreams coming true, that sort of energy. So I feel like you, uh, you love who you are. You're very, you're very stable. You're very, um, secure, grounded, but you also feel this is a very spiritual connection with this person. You almost, you may also see this person as very stable and secure and grounded also. And I feel like they want to reunite with you. They want to come together with you. They want to have good times with you. They want to choose you. They want to choose love. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. 39 there, which is 11, which is 2. And 2 is about partnership, unity, coming together. So in the process here, always, always be authentic with each other who you guys truly are in this connection. Always be authentic. All right, so let's clarify with tarot in this situation for you, Scorpio. I'm gonna clarify these two cards and then we'll get your actual situation and then we'll get advice, we'll get possible outcome. And I'll clarify it all also, and then we'll get some extra messages, guidance with that deck there. All right, so I want to ask first. So let's clarify for Scorpio and this person with spiritual connection. Can, can we clarify spiritual connection for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Clarifying for Scorpio. And we have the Tower. Here, which is um, Aries, but it doesn't have to be. So this may have been a big, a big awakening for you, Scorpio. Like this tower, like a big realization, epiphany that like struck you like lightning, that came like rushing in and just came over you, and realizing that wow, you know, I, this is a spiritual connection here. All right, so let's get one for your person. They have choose love. So why is choose love here for Scorpio's person? The seven of swords. Hmm. This is ear energy. Um, this is kind of an energy of lies, deceit. You know, sometimes I, I call it, you know, the untrustworthy kind of card. So maybe they were hiding their feelings. I mean, it could have been self-deceit. You know, maybe they were hiding their feelings, but now they're deciding to choose love, to choose you. Hmm. So let's clarify. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify the tower for Scorpio. Why is the tower here for spiritual connection for Scorpio? So we have the two of pentacles. So this is about juggling things around, trying to balance things out. That's This is earth energy. Um, so I think you, you just have this big like epiphany realization, like this tower moment of divine energy just striking you like, hey, you know, wake up calling. This is a divine connection. This is a divine spiritual connection. And you were like just trying to balance out all that information like in your head, like in your mind, and just trying to find your balance, like trying to understand this whole situation, trying to like ground yourself with this. All right, so let's get Seven of Swords. So what is that about? The princess, exactly, the Princess of Cups. So this is messages of love, 
affection and that sort of energy. So I feel like they were, blah, you know, not showing how they truly felt. They were, um, I'm trying to think of the right words to say here, um, was self-deceit, like really um, lying about how they truly felt. Not lying, but not really telling you how they truly feel, felt or fighting their feelings. But now they want to come forward here with the Princess of Cups. This is water energy, and this is your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And they want to offer love. They want to choose love. They want to offer you love and affection. My nose is itchy. Okay, so let's get the actual situation. Let's get the actual situation here for you, Scorpio. I wanted three, so here's three. Okay, so, connecting to you here for the actual situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth Energy. So, and I had just said <laughs> that this hit, hit you like a bolt of lightning, and maybe this is a whole new experience for you in realizing what this truly is, what kind of connection this really is, and just trying to balance out all your energies, all this information, everything going on in your mind, in your head, your feelings about this person, and trying to stabilize yourself and ground yourself. And now here's you grounding yourself of being the Queen of Pentacles, someone who is strong, stable, and grounded, who is now, it says fixed earth. So now I feel like you've like planted yourself. You realize what this is. You're standing firmly and planted yourself and you know what it is now. So connected to them here is the Four of Swords. So you know, and I feel like for a time here, they were kind of, maybe they re, they retreated off on their own. This is air energy. Um, thinking, contemplating, you know, what do I want to do in this situation? You know, maybe you didn't hear from them for a while as they were trying to process how they felt about you, the connection, and just really thinking and contemplating about what they want to do. And they were, you know, it, trying to fight their feelings. They weren't really trying the trying not to show them but now they thought about it and now well now they want to offer love and now we have the eight of cups so you know this can be an energy of and this is your energy cancer scorpio pisces an energy of walking away from something or you can always walk to something more fulfilling so i'm not getting an energy of like walking away and now i feel like because that's connecting the two of you it's like now the two of you want, you know, you may have went your separate ways for a while trying to understand this whole connection. And now it's like, okay, now we want to walk back towards each other in this connection. It's like, come, like you might have separated, but now you're coming back together is kind of what I'm getting with that. So let's clarify. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the situation. Are we coming back together? The Seven of Wands. What else? What else? What else? And the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. So the Seven of Wands is being defensive and on guard, uh, kind of standing up for yourself also. But then we have the Five of Pentacles here, which is an energy of, you know, abandonment, neglect, feeling left out in the cold. Um, kind of energy. So I don't, I mean, for some of you, maybe you decided just to walk away from this connection because maybe your person was just taking too long and you know your value and your worth and you're like, you know what? You know, I had a tower moment, a wake up call here. I'm just not going to wait for them anymore. They're not telling me how they feel. Uh, you know, when there, there, there is love and emotions here because it's over here with the Page of Cups. So some of you might have decided to Stand up for yourself with the seven of wands, knowing your value and you're deciding to walk away because you're just taking too long and just leaving them out in the cold. Some of you may be doing that, loving who you are and knowing your value and just saying, no, I'm done. Some of you may be standing up for this connection, this relationship, because there's afraid, this fear of abandonment and being left out in the cold. Or they don't want to be abandoned and left out in the cold. So now they're finally coming forward with an offer, a love offer of some kind, because they're choosing love now. So some of you may be either walking away or deciding to accept their love offer 
because now I think they're going to rush forward because they're afraid of being left out and abandoned by you. So the Eight of Cups could be them, again, because we have eight here, love who you are, and I felt like that was divine moving it forward. <clears throat> so they may see you walking away, and now they're like, whoa, no, I don't want to lose this person. So now they're choosing love, they're choosing you, and they're coming forward with an offer. Even though there may be fear of rejection here with the Five of Pentacles, they're coming forward anyway. And some of you, I feel, with the Eight of Cups could be coming together or some of you may not be. So let's see. Let's see what your advice. Let's see what your advice is. Let's see what we get for advice. Let's see what we get for advice for Scorpio in this connection. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands and Temperance. So the Ten of Wands is laying down all the burdens, um, can be a completion um, with the Ten. Then we have temperance here, which is about, um, it can be about reunion, you know, soulmates coming together, finding balance. And we did have the two of pentacles over here with you finally, you know, finding your balance because you did because you got the queen of pentacles here. So the ten of wands energy uh, for your advice with temperance <clears throat> is to lay down any burdens in this connection that aren't serving you. Find equal balance. Find that... Uh, temperance in this energy um you know it's a very healing balancing uh peace harmony energy so let's clarify um like i said some of you may be deciding to end it with the 10 there tens are endings and just laying down this burden because they were just taking too long and uh, finding your inner balance, just finding that peace, harmony, and balance within yourself by just laying down this burden, burden and deciding to walk away. Um, let's clarify here. So now we have the Three of Pentacles, which is about Earth energy, which is about teamwork, collaboration, working together, coming together. So, I don't know, let's get one more. Let's get one more. And the king of swords so no you may come back together with this person the king of swords energy air energy here is someone who uh can be kind of cold with their words the king there but uses that sword to cut away things no longer serving them telling it like it is standing up for themselves um not taking any bs truth clarity communication truthful communication so you may, you know, decide to come back together with this com this uh, person and just tell them like it is, communicate to them uh, exactly how you're feeling. Some of this may be an ultimatum. Actually, now is what I'm getting now is saying, look, are we going to move forward or not, or what are we doing here? Because if not, I'm walking away. If you want to work on it, great. Let's move forward. Let's see what happens. You know, there are feelings here, but I don't want to wait forever. So um, what are we doing here? I think you're going to give them an ultimatum here with the King of Swords. Do we end this or do we move forward with heal, healing, balancing, tempering energy? Come together, see what happens, work together, see if we can build something here. Or are we just going to walk away? What are we doing? So I think... What I'm getting now is even though you feel, you know, the spiritual connection, I think you're just going to be authentic here to who you are. And you're just going to give them an ultimatum. Look, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I've been waiting for you. You're in the Four of Swords energy. I've just been sitting here waiting. I know my value and my worth now. And I know what kind of connection this is. So if you see it, great. If you don't and you continue to be reclusive, well, then... I'm going to use that sword and I'm just going to cut you out and just end it. So let's see what the Queen of Swords. Wow. So we got the King and Queen of Swords. I mean, this definitely could be a soulmate energy. And I know this is air energy, but it doesn't matter when you get the King and Queen of Swords. Definite um, divine counterparts here. So I do feel like this could be a divine counterpart situation. But again, with the Queen of Swords energy as the outcome, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do for you. You're either going to cut them away or say, look, 
are we gonna work this out? Are we gonna try? What are we gonna do? I'm feeling a heavy energy here of like an ultimatum. And I feel like you're finally just gonna come forward and say something. You know, if you've been waiting and waiting for them, it's like you're tired of waiting, you're not waiting anymore. So what else? What else for this outcome? The Queen of Swords, the Scorpio, what is that about? Okay, well, we have the Lovers and we have the Nine of Cups. So we do have wish fulfillment here, dreams coming true, happiness, joy, the Nine of Cups energy. And then we have the Lovers, two people coming together in a soulmate union. So what I think is going to happen here is you're going to give them an ultimatum. Then they're going to realize, well, I don't want to lose this person. They're my dream, my wish come true. I want them. They're going to decide I want this person as my lover. And I think what's going to happen by you giving them this ultimatum and finally speaking up is they're going to choose love. They're going to choose you. They're going to make you this offer. And then I think you're going to end up coming together with this person if you choose to do that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a Sagittarius energy. And we did have Sagittarius with Temperance. So that's their energy. And now here's the Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, fate, destiny, things going in a better direction. And now we have the Princess of Swords, which is about messages, truthful, open, honest communication between the two of you. Ace of Swords, brand new beginning, truth, clarity, recognizing this spiritual connection, the love. We had a lot of wands here, passion, truth, clarity, love. Some pentacles too for stability. So and this is the sort of success of victory, having this big new beginning, bright new beginning based on truth and clarity. And the chariot moving forward, moving this forward in a more positive direction, a lot of healing, balance, uh, success energy. So things will move forward, a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity, truthful communication between the two of you. And I did feel like divine energy here moving this forward. So I think once you finally um, kind of give them an ultimatum, they're going to say, oh, no, I don't want to lose this person. And they're going to make an offer. And then I think some of you will take it. But I think if you're wondering about what to do in this situation, I think you definitely need to speak up here and give them the ultimatum. All right, Scorpio, let's get some extra messages from this deck for this connection. Let's get some extra messages for Scorpio for this connection. What do we have, Spirit, for this connection? For Scorpio for November. We got two. Wow. <laughs> so we have Divine Masculine and Light Beings. So definitely here, and I did feel Divine Counterparts because we had uh, the King and Queen of Swords, the Lovers, Definitely soulmate energy here. Um, temperance there brings the soulmates together. Divine masculine energy. So in light being. So this is the spiritual connection here. In the 5D realm also. In 8 again with that action movement forward. In 5, 32, 5. Things will change in this connection. I'm going to put this one here like beings and I do feel that spiritual connection there that goes like beyond like this around almost all right so is there anything else for channeling so again I know some of you may be able to channel or maybe you just you know divine energy channeling this connection um, and also channeling each other with that uh, 5d connection the spiritual connection and nourish so you know once you come together I think it'll be a very nourishing connection for the two of you let's see, let's see what's on the bottom now so we have soul names so and this is one and one is all about a brand new beginning and you see that heart they are all lit up here so I feel like I'm not sure what soul name is, so I just want to read. That's the very first card uh, in this deck. 
It's about unlocking the mysteries of your soul. So I think you're going to unlock the mystery of this connection together. And by doing that, um, you're going to give birth to like this soulmate connection. So I just want to leave a little bit... Uh, link between inner and outer worlds wow we got light beings there divine masculine wow so so it's all about discovering receiving uh this connection this soulmate energy and like giving birth to it wow okay scorpio if you do like this it does resonate with you please do like share subscribe and comment i love to read the comments um, if you subscribe, please do hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Four readings a month. I have four different readings now. I have the Love Connection. I have the Tarot Forecast, which is like a general reading for the month. I also started two new series. One is for singles. Who is one? If you're wondering who's coming towards you, it's when, where, how, that kind of energy. And then I also started a new one. It's Messages from Spirit, What You Need to Know. So if you are interested in all that, please do subscribe and you will get four different readings a month. And if you do, thank you in advance and good luck to you, uh, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.